Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty fun, interesting news to go talk about with the upcoming two major PlayStation games coming out over here with Insomnia Games and the Wolverine coming out, and also some Silent Hill news too as well, and also some really good PlayStation 5, like just massive sales and massive big just global push in terms of the stock and stock recovery for all these consoles. So at the end of the day, pretty good and pretty nice spicy news going on over here. So I'm going to go talk about this, and hopefully you guys are all excited as I am. So maybe we'll do the PlayStation PlayStation news really quickly and then we'll cover up the gaming news too as well because I'm just hyped up for new games coming out in the new future and as well games under development too as well. So make sure you guys are also subscribed with the notifications on as well. We also have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys would like to go and follow for more stuff. We also have the Target and Amazon links down below so check those on out and of course the Twitch room too if you guys want to follow and let's dive into the video itself. So first and foremost we have some really good in terms of stock news. So as you guys have maybe been seeing we talked about this maybe a few days ago as well. It does kind of seem like the PlayStation 5 sales have been going and skyrocketing with really good trajectory going on, especially even in Japan and as well also in places such as America. Canada, UK, and other regions, where it does kind of seem like we're seeing massive influxes of stock pretty much everywhere. So, uh, just keep that in mind. We're seeing a lot of stock. We're seeing a lot of movement. We're seeing a lot of people getting their consoles still, and we've had a really good just flush of stock. But as well, Japan has been a very, very dry country, at least in regards to stock for quite some time. So, as we look through all these numbers and see all these numbers, the PlayStation 5 sales have been kind of still being consistent. Now, we saw some stuff even like about a week ago or so discussing this, a little bit more extra news too as well. So basically, the PlayStation 5 sales continue upwards with their trajectory in Japan following stock improvements. So Sony promised they'd go and ship a healthy supply of consoles too as well. And we've been discussing this and showed some of these numbers a few days ago too, but... This one, I think there's actually slightly more updated because these are actually coming over here from the 19th of December through the 25th of December as well. I think we made this video like maybe like the day after Christmas, so it takes a little bit more time for it to update from at least from what I remember. They have, you know, sometimes they have like the Black Friday weeks and then they have like two weeks or what, you know, you know how it is. So basically, the console still can't catch up to the freight train of the Switch, but right now it's still doing good with another 68,000 units sold in the week spanning from the 19th of December through the 25th of December too as well. So either way, this is more, I think, a little bit more updated, finalized numbers too either way. So it kind of keeps on the same consistent trend where it's showing that Pokemon that we talked about this I think before or specific regions such as Japan have been crazy like literally crazy where they've sold over 4.3 million Pokemon units 300,000 from those prior numbers uh, and that's right now Splatoon at 3.6 more um, Nintendo Switch Sports 800,000 Mario Kart Deluxe at 5 million uh, Minecraft at 3 million, give or take. Mario Rabbids that, well, not as good of numbers at all, honestly, for the week-to-week -week sales. And some of the other various games. But you guys look at this, is pretty much just all Nintendo games at this point, which is insane. And you guys look through the hardware numbers, too, as well. So 83,000 on the Switch with 3.5 million total. PlayStation 5 at around 60,000, too, as well. Switch at 42. Switch Lite at 37. PlayStation 5 Digital at 9. And a PS4 at 3,000. And once again, these Xbox numbers are kind of low. They're around 1,000 total, which... In all honesty, it's not really a good number. When the random 2D SLL, which I don't think they even make those properly for like literal years, <laughs> literal years in the first place, uh, is still almost outside the Xbox Series X. I don't really know what to say at that point. It's kind of just kind of weird to go and see. But it just kind of goes to show that PlayStation has been hooking up stock everywhere nationwide, and it does kind of seem like a lot of people are getting hyped up for the games, games coming out in the near future, and everything in between, because people are just excited. Like, the stock is finally there. There's a pretty good catalog of games with God of War, Forspoken coming soon. We have the Hogwarts coming soon. We also have the Ratchet and Clank's Horizons, and a pretty good amount of games coming out in the near future. So, it does look like the stock is still on a really good upwards trajectory, and hopefully this will maintain pretty much all throughout the, well, world. So, really quick, too, we also have some Silent Hill news, where... The Silent Hill also had a short message officially artwork in story synopsis was actually leaked as well. So we actually had some interesting information and people are kind of figuring out a little bit more news when it comes to Silent Hill. So basically, the Silent Hill a short message has received an update on the Taiwan Rating Board website with a story synopsis too as well. So if you guys don't care about this for whatever, it's, I think it's really, really basic. Uh, but basically, earlier we had reported the game being rated in Taiwan. After it was also rated in Korea, the new update appears to suggest that this is the official Silent Hill game. Well, that will star a protagonist named Anita. So here's the official story synopsis. Once again, this is not like really like a big leak at anything, like not a big spoiler or anything like that. But Anita comes to an abandoned apartment building to meet her friend Maya and somehow wakes up to find herself trapped in it. She must escape from her own fears and the monsters lurking in the hallway. 
find out the hidden truth behind the trauma, and try to escape before her psychological trauma consumes her will to live. So, like, it's not, like, anything kind of crazy or super big, you know? It's not like, oh, my God, like, this person, like, 13 hours in does this, this, or this. It's just, like, the general, like, vibe of what the game is going to be. So, you guys can kind of see some, like, the cool, like, official artwork over here, showcasing some of the visuals on the game, too. And apparently, this is not the very first time that the game screenshots and details have been leaked in the past. But this might be the first official details of what kind of game this will be and what the story is going to be and what's going on. Now, I'm sure this will be very, very similar to the official Silent Hill, like, kind of just vibe in general, which is nice to see. But as we're looking through, it's just not as crazy. So if you want to learn more about the project too, they've done a little bit more smaller leaks. I don't want to give you guys too, too much in case you guys don't want to see it. But there hasn't been a crazy amount of leaks, but there has been some information. As well, don't forget there is like four other Silent Hill games from that official announcement. I'm more excited not for the remakes, but more so for the brand new iterations with it. So very, very excited and very hyped up for all of that coming out too. And I really am also excited for the upcoming movie. Now, as a reminder, we also have some cool stuff with Insomniac Games, where Insomniac Games has now an extensive Wolverine's Rogue Gallery to work with. So now, as we don't really necessarily know too, too much when it comes to this upcoming Wolverine game, it's cool to kind of go and try to guesstimate and speculate on what could possibly be the next upcoming villains, what's going to be the main storyline, and all of that. Kind of think how, like, Spider-Man has a bunch of different villains throughout the years, or, like, Superman, etc., where they have, like, a few iconic ones, so think, like, Batman and the Joker, but they have other people like, say, you know, the Penguin, and like Cryo Freeze, and all these other various characters, and it always kind of like fits a certain niche, or if it's like the first time you do a certain game, you almost want to know who's going to be in it. So basically, Insomniac Games has a plethora of villains to pick from for the upcoming Marvel's Wolverine, each of whom has played a role in Logan's development. So basically, following the massive success of both Marvel's Spider-Man and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Insomniac Games has its sight set on another superhero. This is in the case for Wolverine, which I think is rumored for now for 2024. While there is not a lot of information about Marvel's Wolverine, the character's extensive run in the comics give Insomniac a lot of material to work with. One aspect of Logan's popularity in the comics has always been the powerful foes he has to go up against, and so one of the most anticipated pieces of information is who will the players be fighting against. He's a unique hero because he's been a part of many teams within the Marvel comic universe, including X-Men, the Avengers, Fantastic Four, and also kind of gives an extensive rogues gallery that Insomniac Games could dive into for villains and for upcoming games. So from powerhouses like Ultron and Magneto to the more personal enemies such as Sabretooth, William Stryker, and also, funny enough, even Deadpool, and it's kind of cool because it's kind of the options of what it could be. So as you guys can see through as well, we didn't have a chance to see too, too much with it. So we can maybe see stuff like it kind of just depends on whatever kind of universe they want to make him a part of. So while seeing Logan's part of the Avengers or the X-Men would be exciting for a possible future games that could be made, there's even a bigger case to give Wolverine a standalone story. So like both in Spider-Man games, exploring Wolverine outside of his affiliations would allow the game to dive deeper into Wolverine's character and explore Logan's origins. So outside of many teams, Wolverine's main villains have always been Sabretooth and William Stryker, both of whom who have played vital roles in the development of the character itself. There's also another fan favorite they're also maybe thinking is a villain in Marvel's Wolverine would be Deadpool, and I'm not necessarily sure if Deadpool's going to be in the game or not, but I would be very intrigued if it was. We could also go help connect the events of the game with Marvel's Spider-Man, thanks to Deadpool's rivalry with the Web Slinger. So we're basically kind of seeing like if they want to go and do a game where it might do into like a future game. So think like we had like the Avengers game, or how we had, like, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy games. In theory, if they have, like, a good segue, think with Spider-Man, think with Wolverine, and they may want to work in other various games, too, they could try to go get, like, a proper big universe of all these different games and IPs and potentially have, like, a huge, massively, like, multi-part game. Or, like, I say, like, imagine, like, uh, for lack of a better term, like, a Justice League-type game, where it's just a bunch of different people, just as a subscriber, like, a bunch of different other, like, people you can play as or get to pick as or massively multiplayer game or whatever it might go and be. So as of right now, people are still on the speculation side of see like, is it going to be Wolverine as more of an Avenger? To kind of see, is it going to be Wolverine and more of like a Fantastic Four? Which I probably don't think it's going to be a Fantastic Four because that just IP is not as, as big. I mean, I can, maybe I might have a time we have to maybe go and see. But as we all know right now, there is, well, just a lot of details that we're slowly waiting for. And ideally, they'll be better than, well, worse. <laughs> so fingers crossed that one. So give me your thoughts and comments on this awesome brand new sales in terms of brand new games and game leaks and everything else all in between because I love seeing people getting their consoles and I love seeing these new upcoming games 
getting a bit more and more and more information as time goes on. So give me your thoughts and comments down below and as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new future ongoing PS5 or $500 giveaway. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below in case you guys would like to follow. And of course, the Amazon links and target links too. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.